Hi there, today we're going to practice rewriting addition as plus 10. So we know that it's easier to add with 10s. If I say to you, what's 10 plus 6? Right away you can think about that and say, oh, 16. But if I ask you to add 8 plus 9, it takes you a little bit longer. You're going to have to count on, and that might take a while. So let's start off by adding 8 plus 9. If we start at 8 on our number line here, 1 hop, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we find that we have the answer of 17. Now that took a little bit of time to do that. But if we change that and instead added from 10, let's see how long it takes us to get from 10 to 17 to find that same answer. So let's start at 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it took only 7 hops from 10. So 8 plus 9, which we know is 17, which means that equals 10 plus 7, because 10 plus 7 equals 17. So now we've learned that 8 plus 9 equals 17, or the same as 10 plus 7 equals 17. But what does that really mean? Well, if we look here, we have seven ones and one ten. So when we're adding up here, we have eight, and then we add two more to find our ten. So right now, here we have our ten. Now, as we've said before, if we find a ten, it is much, much quicker to add on the rest. So we've actually moved some numbers around. We had 8, and we moved those around and added a couple to make that a 10. And we took a couple away from the 9 to make it a 7 so that we could add them up faster. They're both the same number, but one is a lot quicker. So here's a little trick to help you with that. As I mentioned before, we added a couple to make 10. So I added 2 to make that 10 right there. But here's the trick. If I added 2 to this guy, I have to take 2 away from this guy. And that is how we get the 7. We're just moving numbers around to make it easier to add faster. So for instance, if we had this number, 6 plus 6 equals 10 plus blank, well, if we know the rule that we have to add something to make 10, 6 plus what equals 10? That's right, 4. So 6 plus 4 makes that 10 right there. We added 4 to that number to get that 10. Then we got to take away the same 4 from that. So 6 minus 4 goes over here, and that would be a 2. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. So if you use that rule, it'll make it real fast for you to be able to make plus 10 addition facts. Let's take a look at a couple examples. Okay, we have 7 plus 4 equals 10 plus blank. So we had to figure out how to make these equal. So we have 7 to 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. So remember, if we added those to get the 10, we got to take away that same number from here. So minus 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So 10 plus 1 equals 11. And 7 plus 4, if you count on, is also 11. Nice work. OK, here we have one. 5 plus 9 equals the same as 10 plus something else. So use that rule. See if you can figure it out, and then we'll walk, we'll walk through it. OK, your answer make them the same or equal would be 10 plus 4. Now to figure that out, we need to make that 5 like that 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Remember if we took added a 5 on this number, we have to take away a 5 on this number. So 9 minus 5, that equals 4. So as we can tell, 5 plus 9 is 14, and 10 plus 4 equals 14. They are the same. 
Nice job. Okay, here's our last one. 9 plus 9 equals 10 plus something else. So I want you to try and solve this. Think about the need to be equal on each side. Okay, your answer should be 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. And we know that 9 plus 9 is 18, so 10 plus 8 must also equal 18. But let's use our little trick there. We add 1 to make this 10. We have to take that same away from this one, so we're subtracting 1 from this number here. That means that's got to be 8. Added 1 to this, subtracted to this, and we get the answer of 10 plus 8. Now you've been practicing rewriting addition as plus 10. Remember, adding by 10 is a lot quicker than adding smaller facts, like 9 plus 9. 10 plus 8 to 18 is much quicker. Use this strategy to add faster. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about math.